So as you can tell, we got a little bit of freezing rain, a little bit of sleet, ice, something, whatever you want to call it. Boy, I'm not going to be able to walk very fast at all. Dang gun. What's up, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown with me, Michael, your incredible host. This is a little segment that I like to call Walk and Talk. We're walking and talking in a winter wonderland. I did get a walk in yesterday, even though it rained the whole day. And uh, there was actually ice and stuff going on yesterday, but it wasn't really holding up on the ground, you know, on the road. But it was sticking in the trees and lines and stuff like that, power lines, you know. And uh, so I did manage to get a walk in yesterday, uh, umbrella and just uh, hustling and getting it done quick. I have a feeling I'm gonna fall. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to walk fast at all. Here comes the four-wheeler kid. He has went back and forth about 700 times. I don't know how much fun that can be, going back and forth 700 times. But that's what he's doing. It's going to be a very slow walk. Good Lord. People are strange. They get four wheelers and other ATV type things and stuff like that. And they live in neighborhoods like this that are like nice little neighborhoods and you're not out in the country per se you're you know we're like right here and people get stuff like that and there's really nowhere to ride it right here so they go back and forth on the road over and over and over i never understood that it's like what can i do with my day hmm that can be extremely boring and kind of annoying to the other neighbors hey i know let's go back and forth on the road over and over and over for like 10 hours. Yeah, we are out of school. We were out yesterday, Thursday, and now we're out today. And uh, good reason, you know, people, even myself, even though I'm a school bus driver, you know, people like to say, why are you out? Why is school out? Good grief, there's nothing wrong with the roads. Why is school out? Well, we have roads in our county and neighboring counties. You know, we're in the country. Uh, we have roads that never see the light of day. And those roads are 10 times worse than what I'm walking on here, which is slick already. So you get on these little country roads that don't get a lot of traffic and they're covered up by trees and you know hilly and curvy and it's some pretty dangerous stuff out there so whew. let me get my little mitten over my fingers there my fingers are gonna freeze i don't want my fingers to freeze there all right well, now this one's froze. That gummit. Anyway. Whew. Oh boy. That's slick. Real slick. So. Anyway, I'm going to keep walking. Get a little walkie walk in and. 
might let you see a little scenery along the way not a whole lot of winter wonderland to see but a little ice in the trees a little on the road and crazy four-wheeler kid doing crazy four-wheeler stuff that's what sucks about being an adult everything kind of gets on your nerves when i was a kid i'd have been out here going cool man you're doing it's cool stuff man as an adult i'm like I get annoyed and he's a good kid he actually is a good kid hard worker does a lot of yard work and stuff he and his dad they actually do our yard so he's a good kid I'm gonna see if I can I might walk in the grass yeah maybe the grass is the ticket Now, going this slow and walking in this sort of uh, situation does a couple things. Number one, it slows you down. And uh, it's going to make my 35-ish minute walk probably closer to an hour. <laughs> as slow as I'm having to go, which leads me to something... Uh, you're having to really use your balance a lot and you know adjusting yourself a lot and uh you know you're really having to stay on your a game while you're walking and uh that kind of helps to work you out a little bit more actually because you're really having to concentrate on what you're doing and uh your stabilizing muscles are really having to stabilize I don't recommend people walk on slick, icy roads. I don't recommend it. I mean, you know, if you got the proper shoes, I guess. Like some golf shoes or something. I don't know what you could wear. But I got some worn out tennis shoes on. Luckily, a lot of the pavement is really bad and so it's really rough and rocky and stuff anyway so you know it's not like super fresh really nice beautiful you know roads pavement back here so you know that would be a lot more slick Yeah, I'm ready for spring. I don't like the heat and humidity. Mostly the humidity, which gets really bad here in Tennessee. It does suffocate you and just make you want to freaking die. But I'm also getting tired of, you know, I'm getting tired of winter. My little tiny leg strides. So I use Strava whenever I do my walks. And typically my average speed is between like 3.2 and 3.5 miles per hour. I assume it's going to be about 2. Probably about two miles per hour.
today is back day now i've got my spin done already i got my breakfast done already i'm getting in my walk luckily and uh gotta work out back today i'm gonna be eating uh, some ground turkey for dinner made into patties with some onions and peppers fried up with it and uh a sweet potato and uh, tomorrow is my deadlift day and my cheat day Ooh, this is slick so anyway that's my plans for today get this walk done maybe get me a little something in my tummy and then maybe get an early back workout done early compared to what I normally do. Usually I work out between like four and five or something like that. So I'll try and get it done early today and I'm gonna get that done and give myself a little time to play my new video game that I started playing a couple days ago. I don't even know the name of it. It's a crazy long name. If I think about it, I'll put a picture of it right here. So yeah, I'm doing that on my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. Old Mental is one word. Pickle is the last word. That's where I do video game stuff. So anyway, guys, I'm going to cut the video here and kind of concentrate on my walking uh, so I don't have to worry about filming and not falling. So I uh, hope you have a good day. Inspire someone along the way. Most importantly, inspire yourself. Don't forget, if you'd like, like, share, subscribe, comment to the Body Beatdown and Old Mental Pickle if you'd like. All right. Have a good Friday. Be safe out there. Be awesome. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. And we'll see you next time on the Body Beatdown with me, Michael, your semi-incredible host. See you later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!